man, today was a pretty hard day, actually. For a driver especially, because there's a lot of twisty turns, a lot of slow speeds. I think we were holding 15 and 20 for like a third of the day, and that's hard to do. And what? as a navigator, it just keeps you on your toes because you can't see the sign because you're always going around the turns. So, uh, glad it's over, actually. We, we earned a little bit of a break. But we had a good day. We have a score. Here's our score sheet. We got a one, an ace, a one, a one, a four, and a two. So that's probably gonna be good for about third or fifth today. Um, but we're happy with it. Do that all three days and that'll put you in first. of fun you know it's all about the fun <laughs> <laughs> mistake was that <laughs> we did really good today we had one leg that was 23 seconds off that we're gonna figure out what we did obviously it was something bizarre but everything else was twos and threes and way to nine I don't know but yep. it seemed pretty good uh, Wes was a fantastic navigator today it and, was all the driver it, yeah. navigator just was along for the ride yeah. yeah we're good the car does really good it's got some funny in between stuff on the gears kind of on the steep downhills it doesn't it really could use kind of a halfway between first and second to not have to kind of tap the brakes here and there. But you know, it's great. It's a solid late model car and it doesn't have any problem accelerating from whatever speed to whatever speed, that's for sure. Good stuff. This is our second one, and I don't have my speedometer calibrated right. We was about 16 seconds late every leg, except for the last one. You know, did you guys go up that great big hill? 
and we got behind a semi truck that was doing 15. Funny hats there is a 1984 grand champion, and I wanted to present this to John. To you can hang it in your office here, or you can take it back to California with you. <laughs> Second place rookie class in a 1957 Chevrolet seats in Kramer. They are they are second in rookie, but they win first prize money in rookie money. First place. In the rookie division, in a beautiful 1930 Model A Phaeton, Dan and Dan Rutenberg, despite incurring a penalty each day for too many people in the car, posted a two minute and 13 second uh, weekend. Very, very good. First time they've ever done it. All right, fifth place in veteran class. In a 1961 Austin Healy, Greg, and Casey Cunningham, a score of 30.56 seconds. Fourth place with a score of 30.06 seconds in a 1937 LaSalle slash Ford, uh, Harper and Blair. Third place with a score of 25.2 seconds goes in a 1938 Ford, goes to Gary Dean and Martin. Second place with a score of 20.25 seconds goes to Jody Knowles and Beth Gentry. Now the first place trophy, and it's bigger than the other two. It's a lot heavier. Two hands, please. And I think everybody's going to be very surprised at this with a 12.38 second score Barry and Irene Jason, these are our grand champions, as you know, from the 2012 great race. Almost, almost a full eight seconds ahead of second place. My son was supposed to have done this, and so I was not prepared. But the team that we have chosen for the Spirit of Bill Coker Award is a couple that we came to love very much. They enjoy it, they have fun, they're always happy and enjoying themselves. And for someone who is so determined that they would come such a long distance to drive a car they're not familiar with, has to be determined to come and enjoy the Coker Challenge. And so this year we decided that the Spirit of Bill Coker Award should go to Alan and Nolene McKinnon. Well, what an honour. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we worked here with Bill and Kay and, and the family some years ago. And, and as I said to Kay, the, our photo, group photo, is still on our office, uh, in our office at work. And it's, uh, it's a great honour. I'd like to just quickly thank uh, Teresa and, and Corky for the invitation to come again. And uh, I'd like to thank, thank uh, the Coker extended family, which is, which is extending. And uh, I'd like to thank the volunteers. And lastly, I'd like to thank all the participants who were very so kind with their times and, and, and generous with themselves. And uh, on Nolan and I behalf, thank you very much for all of you. Thank you. Thank you.